some changes are coming to the way you get rid of old electronics. Yeah, starting September 1st in Wisconsin, and that's less than three weeks away, you'll have to recycle them. And often you'll have to pay to do it. Right now you officially have a choice, but a new state law will ban many electronics from landfills. And there are some people who may still try to get around the law, as Fox 11's Ryan Dietz reports with multiple views. Throw that old TV to the curb? Don't even think about it. Millions of TVs, computers, DVD players, and printers are thrown out every year, filling up landfills and sending greenhouse emissions into the air. Soon, that TV will have to be recycled. Chris Stevens works for Universal Recycling Technologies, a company that breaks down old electronics. It gets weighed up, you get a tag on it, and it gets put into, into a storage that eventually gets disassembled by the components, plastic, metal, glass, wiring, and it gets all recycled. Stevens is picking up a load from the Allegheny County Solid Waste Facility, one of many places people can take old electronics. Other places include Best Buy, American, and Paper Valley Recycling Center. Often people have to pay around $10 to $20 to get rid of their old stuff, and that means some people might just dump electronics anywhere. Unfortunately, some people will do that. But Miller says most people are responsible. That's because she says they see the consequences from throwing it into landfills. If they would leach into the groundwater, it would be hazardous. So we just try to keep them out of the landfill and um, take care of them properly. And Stephen says his job isn't just collecting, it's educating as well. The glass contains lead, plastics contain who knows what chemicals anymore. So it's better for the environment, better for everybody around. And it's soon to be the law. Ryan Dietz, Fox 11 News. Big screen TVs, for example, will cost the customer up to $50 to recycle them. The city of Appleton is hosting an electronic recycling event Saturday, September 18th. There is more information, including a list of items accepted and how much it will cost, available online through a link in the News Link section of our website homepage.